I was going to tell you all about my friend Timothy White, who is the next inductee. Tell you all about how he was born in New Jersey and all the things, the schools he went to and all the great works that he does. But I think if you just go to his website, you can see all the great stuff he's done. You can see all the magnificent pictures he's taken because some of them are so stunning they bring tears to your eyes. He is a person who starts a conversation after realizing something needs to be done by saying, what do you need, what can I do, how can I help? And that's basically what my friend has done with lots of people in lots of places, from Amfar to uh, any number of charities. I wrote them all down, but the list is so long and it's really late, it's past my bedtime. I'm not usually up this late. And so I want to first tell you, this is an extraordinary man who I adore and have adored for 30 some odd years. He's incredibly talented and really one of a kind in my eyes. But take a look at the video about him and see if you agree. Timothy White is one of the most sought after celebrity photographers in the world. For over three decades, he has become known as a legend behind the lens. His list of portrait subjects includes Hollywood's greatest, including Audrey Hepburn, Harrison Ford, Sophia Loren, and many others. Tim's intimate portraits have been exhibited in galleries and museums around the world. They have become iconic album covers and have been featured in major publications and on hundreds of movie posters. His creativity earned a Lucy Award for International Photographer of the Year, as well as being named one of the most influential people in photography by the American Photo Museum. Over the years, he has dedicated time to the New Jersey State Council of the Arts, Riverkeeper, Earthshare, City Harvest, and the American Foundation for AIDS Research. Now the artist who has photographed so many New Jersey Hall of Fame inductees will take his own place in history. This is a huge honor. He loves New Jersey. He told me all about New Jersey before I got here and said it was a decent place to come and live. Please welcome one of the extraordinary eyes on the planet and an extraordinary friend, Timothy White. Wow, that was big. Thank you, Wolf. And thank you to the New Jersey Hall of Fame and to everyone here tonight. If you Google the definition for the words true friendship, Whoopi Goldberg's face will pop up. And it's probably one of my pictures. <laughs> We've worked together and been friends for over 30 years. I have shared more fun, more laughter, great work, and a lot of love from this very special human being. I have three wonderful sisters, Jamie, Mary, and Whoopi. The first two I met when I was just a little boy. I didn't touch anything. God knew you were telling a whoa, big fan there. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the, the latter I met early in my career. I don't remember what our first shoot was for, but I remember at some point in the shoot, she told me to take a picture of her from behind. At first, I thought that's not something an actor would normally request, but when she turned around and I took the picture, I immediately realized what a great portrait it was. It was definitely, definitively Whoopi, and anyone looking at the photo would instantly know who it was. She taught me something important that day about creativity, and she's been teaching me ever since. I remember once when she called and said that she was doing an ad campaign for a feminine product, not quite a conversation I was prepared for. She said that she wanted me to direct the commercials and do the print ad campaign. It was about a bladder problem, something called light bladder leakage, and she told me that one in three women had this issue. <laughs> she told me that the advertising agency didn't know what they were doing and that we needed to figure it out and make it special. <laughs> Stop laughing. 
we, we talked a bit over the next few days, and she came up with the idea that if one in three women had this issue, then all women throughout history could have been dealing with this issue and could have used this product. That set off a back and forth of trying to determine the characters she might play who could use the product. She came up with a model that posed for the Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, Eve in the Garden of Eden, and the Statue of Liberty, Liberty, among others. I worked for days preparing the sets, costumes, and props to give her the stage for each vignette and waited for her arrival. Without a script and coming to my set right from her day job at The View, she wowed us all with her brilliant and hilarious ad-libbing and created unique characters, all with a leaking problem. <laughs> and she literally made the crew pee in our pants. Stop laughing. <laughs> Unlike many people who are being honored here tonight, or in any of the previous induction or award ceremonies, I'm used to being on the other side of the camera. Like you, I'm more the, audi the audience. But when I'm creating my pictures, I'm definitely on. It's definitely a performance for me, maybe even more so during the process than the people I'm photographing. Mm -hmm. That's how I get the picture. But this particular night is a bit awkward for me. I'm so used to looking through a lens and creating my moments, my versions of these famous people that have defined our culture, and because of their great work, will live on forever. The pictures we make together are a document of pop culture history, and through our collaboration, fix their image for posterity. As much fun as that is, I take that very seriously. That history is important to me. It's their legacy, but it's also all of ours. The history of New Jersey was formed from immigrants that came and made this state strong and great, and that is the special something that New Jersey gives its citizens. That strength is apparent in all of you and in everyone honored here tonight. My mom turned 100 two months ago, and I'm acutely aware of her strength, her history, and of the moments that I've shared with her, and certainly the moments I have left. The Book of Life is brief, and I'm glad that through my work and the work of the people I photographed, I will have left a few pages behind. My parents always told me that you can be whatever you want to be in life as long as you're willing to work hard for it. That's something that this state has instilled in every citizen, and I'm proud to say that it helped me make me who I am and allowed me to do that job that I do. It's pretty amazing that so many of the famous people who I've photographed throughout my career are also from this state, but it's not a coincidence. Thank you, New Jersey, for this honor. Thank you.